Here's what would happen if aliens had already replaced us. First off, forget the zipper on the back of the neck. If a civilization can travel light years, they aren't wearing rubber masks. They are rewriting the biological code. So, uh, you wouldn't see it. You'd be looking at molecular mimicry. See? A sophisticated invader would hijack the host's cellular machinery. They would insert their own genetic sequences into our nuclei, tricking our ribosomes into building their proteins instead of ours. They aren't destroying the body, they are effectively piloting it like a biological mech suit. Now for the reality anchor. Nature does this all the time. Look at the Cymothoa exigua. It's a parasitic isopod that enters a fish, eats the tongue, and then latches onto the stub to become a fully functional replacement tongue. The fish uses it to catch prey, swallow, and breathe. It doesn't even know it's been replaced. It just keeps swimming. But wait, here's the kicker. The only way you might notice is a glitch in the software. We have this psychological instinct called the uncanny valley, that deep, visceral revulsion you feel when something looks human but moves slightly. Wrong. Evolutionary biologists still argue about why we developed a fear of things that look almost human. If we were replaced, that instinct is the alarm bell ringing. So, if your friend blinks a little too slowly or pours the milk before the cereal, don't ask questions. Just back away, slowly.